So here's a really cool difference between the Apollo missions and the upcoming Artemis II mission. Here is what the moon looked like from Earth on the day that we launched towards the moon during the Apollo missions. Here it is for Apollo 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And you can probably notice the pattern. The moon is lit up on the right hand side. It's a waxing crescent moon. Why did the moon look like this on the day that we launched every single time for the Apollo missions? Well, uh, during the Apollo missions, we had to land on the near side of the moon, the face of the moon that looks towards the Earth. We didn't land on the far side of the moon. It takes four days to arrive to the moon. And when we arrived at the moon, we wanted to make sure that the landing site was lit up by the sun. We didn't want to land in darkness. That would be very difficult to land and very, very dangerous. And it would be so pitch black, you couldn't do any actual science. So we had to wait for a specific day of the month to launch and arrive at the moon in time so that it was lit up where we landed. Now here is what the moon is gonna look like from Earth on the day of the Artemis II launch. And you can see how different it is. It is lit up on the left-hand side. It's a waning gibbous moon. Now we don't know exactly what day the Artemis II mission is going to launch. It's still a little bit uh, in flux, but on this mission, things are a little bit different. We're not landing on the moon during the Artemis II missions. The point of this mission is to check out the vehicle, make sure the capsule is all good to go. And we're just going around the moon. We're not landing on the surface of the moon. The cool thing about it is when the astronauts arrive, a large part of the far side of the moon is going to be lit up. And there's gonna be parts of the far side of the moon that human eyes have never seen before that these four crew members are gonna to get to see with their own eyes. Now, we've sent satellites and we've sent orbiters around the moon to take photos and to map the surface of the moon. So we kind of basically know what the far side of the moon looks like. It's not a mystery, but to me, it's really, really cool that there's parts of our nearest celestial neighbor that human eyes have just never seen. And in the next few months, human eyes are gonna to get to see them for the first time.